signs agreement with Goethe Institute. The Delhi Board of School Education, DBSE, has signed an agreement with Goethe Institute. It has been signed for offering a German language course to students of Delhi government schools. In the pilot phase, the German language will be introduced in 30 schools. Students will be trained by faculty from Goethe Institute Max Müller Bhavan in communicative German language. Elon Musk joins Twitter's board of directors. Elon Musk has joined Twitter or as board of directors. He has taken a 9% stake in the social media platform. His term will be expiring at Twitter or as 2024 annual shareholders or meeting. Musk, either alone or as a member of a group, won or TB allowed to own more than 14.9% of Twitter or as outstanding stock for as long as he or as a board member and for 90 days after. Vice Chief Lieutenant Gen Manoj Pandey all set to become new Army Chief. Army Vice Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey is all set to become Chief of the Army Staff. Previously, he served as the General Officer Commanding-in-Chief, Eastern Command. The incumbent Army Chief General M.M. Naravane will retire by the end of April 2022. General Naravane is the front-runner for the post of Chief of Defence Staff after the passing of General Bipin Rawat. A project to come up for setting, hobby hubs in Delhi Got Schools. A project to set up, hobby hubs in Got Schools in Delhi with after-school dance, music, arts and crafts activities during the new academic session is in the works. For the 2022-2023 academic session, this project will only be implemented in single-shift government schools. Private academies, individuals and NGOs will be roped in to provide free training in fields selected by the schools. Parliament passes Accountancy Bill 2022. Parliament on 5 April or 22 passed the Chartered Accountants, the Cost and Works Accountants and the Company Secretaries Amendment Bill 2022. It will revamp the functioning of the Institutes of Chartered Accountants, Cost Accountants, and Company Secretaries. It seeks to amend the Chartered Accountants Act, 1949, the Cost and Works Accountants Act, 1959, and the Company Secretaries Act, 1980. Three Integrated Clean Energy Material Acceleration Platforms Launched Three integrated clean energy material acceleration platforms were launched at the ME Mission Innovation Annual Gathering Session on 4 April 2022. New energy innovation collaborations were also announced at the event. The platforms constitute a knowledge network of more than 38 elite institutions and 80 research personnel working on next-generation low-cost advanced energy materials. Union Environment Minister Launches Awareness Mascot Prakriti The Union Minister of Environment, Forest or Climate Change Bhupender Yadav launched a mascot, Prakriti or, on 5 April or 22. It will spread awareness about various green initiatives taken by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and Central Pollution Control Board to ensure effective plastic waste management. Five green initiatives for plastic waste management were also launched. Dharmendra Pradhan releases a book, Birsa Munda Janjatiya Nayak. Union Education and Skill Development Minister Dharmendra Pradhan released the book or Elk Quo, Birsa Munda or Endish, Janjatiya Nayak or Hardikyo, on the 5th of April 2022. It has been written by Prof. Alok Chakraval, Vice Chancellor, Guru Ghasidas Vishwavidyale, Bilaspur. The book is a comprehensive attempt to bring to the fore the struggle of Birsa Munda and the contribution of forest dwellers to the freedom movement. Union Minister Piyush Goyal on a three day visit to Australia. Union Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Textiles, Piyush Goyal left New Delhi on a three day visit to Australia on 5 April 2022. He also held talks with Mr. Tony Abbott, Australian PMS Special Trade Envoy. Australia is the 17th largest trading partner of India and India is Australia's 9th largest trading partner. NTPC Inks packed with Gujarat gas to blend green hydrogen.
NTPC has inked a pact with Gujarat Gas ETD, is an initiative to blend green hydrogen with pipe natural gas PNG supplied by Gujarat Gas ETD. This first of its kind project in the country is a step towards the decarbonization of the cooking sector and self-sufficiency for the energy requirements of the nation. Initially, the percentage of hydrogen blending in the PNG shall be around 5%. Karnataka hikes donors allowance DA for state got employees. The Karnataka got has decided to revise the donors allowance DA for the state got employees from the existing 24.50% to 27.25% of the basic pay. This is effective from the 1st of January 2022. The hike is also applicable for pensioners. Earlier, the DA of the Central Got Employees and Dernus Relief Doctor, two pensioners was increased by 3% to 34% of the basic pay with effect from 1 January 2022. Pulitzer Prize-winning poet Richard Howard passes away. Richard Howard, a Pulitzer Prize-winning poet, passed away in April 2022. Howard was a professor emeritus at Columbia University. He won the poetry Pulitzer in 1970 for or quote, untitled subjects or quote, and was a National Book Award finalist in 2008 for or quote, without saying, or quote. His translation of Charles Baudelaire or S or quote, Les Fleurs du Mal or quote, won the National Book Award, then called the American Book Award, in 1983. Tata Power Solar Commission's 160 megawatt solar project in Rajasthan. Tata Power Solar has commissioned a 160 megawatts AC solar project at Jetstar in Rajasthan. Around 6, 75,000 monocrystalline PV modules were used in this installation and it will produce 387 million units of energy. The Jetstar project was completed within a period of 15 months and is one of the largest solar projects in Rajasthan. Srimad Bhagavad Gita to be taught in Himachal Pradesh from class 9. Srimad Bhagavad Gita will be taught to all school students from class 9 in Himachal Pradesh. This was informed by State Education Minister Govind Singh Thakur. With this, it will become second state after Gujarat to make Gita a part of the school syllabus. In March 2022, Gujarat Education Minister G2 Waghani had announced that Bhagavad Gita will be a part of the syllabus for classes 6 to 12. Meghalaya Government Inc.'s Pact with NLSIU for Fellowship The Meghalaya Government on 4 April 2022 signed an agreement with Bengaluru-based National Law School of India University, NLSIU, to set up a fellowship. The Pass Sangma Fellowship for Legal and Policy Research will allow students of NLSIU for undertaking research activities in Meghalaya. Pass Sangma was the former Chief Minister of Meghalaya and Speaker of Lok Sabha. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited hands over Gaganyan hardware to ISRO. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL handed over the first set of Gaganyan hardware to ISRO on the 4th of April 2022. It was handed over during the inauguration of HAL or SPS2 GS2 stage integration facility in Bengaluru. The PS2 stage is the second stage of the polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV launch vehicle in which Earth storable propellants are used for propulsion. Oscar winning filmmaker John Zaritsky passes away. Veteran filmmaker John Zaritsky well known for winning an Oscar in 1983 for Best Documentary Feature for or Just Another Missing Kid or Passed Away, in March 2022. During a career that spanned 40 years, Zaritsky also directed documentaries on thalidomide, the notorious drug introduced in Europe in the late 1950. Zaritsky or S work has been screened at more than 40 film festivals. Mithun Manjunath wins silver medal in men's singles. In badminton, Mithun Manjunath won a silver medal after losing to Toma Jr. Popov of France in the men's singles final of the Orleans Masters 2022 badminton tournament in Orleans, France. The 79th ranked Mithun was defeated by 21-11, 21-19.
The only other Indian players to reach the semi-finals of the Orleans Masters 2022 were Ashwini Bhatt, K and Shikha Gautam in the women or S doubles. Imran Khan nominates former Chief Justice of Pakistan as caretaker PM. Imran Khan has been the notified as the PM of Pakistan, in wake of the dissolution of the National Assembly by the President. He has nominated former Chief Justice Gulzar Ahmed for the office of caretaker Prime Minister. The Constitution of Pakistan empowers the President to appoint a caretaker PM in consultation with the PM and the leader of the opposition in the outgoing National Assembly. Union God appoints Vinay Mohan Quatra as new Foreign Secretary. India's envoy to Nepal Vinay Mohan Quatra has been appointed as the new Foreign Secretary, succeeding Harsh Vardhan Shringla who will retire at the end of April 2022. Quatra is a 1988 batch Indian Foreign Service IFS officer and will take charge on 30 April or 22. Before his diplomatic posting to Nepal in 2020, he served as the ambassador of India to France from August 2017 to February 2020. President Kovind arrives in Netherlands for three-day visit. President Ram Nath Kovind on 4 April 2022, arrived in Amsterdam, Netherlands on the final leg of his two-nation visit. It is the first presidential visit to the Netherlands after 34 years. He arrived here from Turkmenistan where he held talks with his Turkmen counterpart Sadar Burda Mohamedov. He is the first Indian president to visit independent Turkmenistan. Indigo co-promoter Rakesh Gandhi.